Good morning from Ensenada. We are here again on the Disney Wonder. Again, I'm Courtney. This is Robin. Robin. And we are here just heading to breakfast. Uh, we're going to Triton's today for breakfast. We found that we really prefer the energy of Triton's, the more laid back, relaxed side of things versus the chaos of and the high energy and everybody's go, go, go up in Cabanas. So that's for us that's a big us. part of why we're going to Triton's for breakfast. We do not plan to debark the ship today, so we'll be having a full day on ship today as well as our sea day tomorrow. So let's go get some chow. I'm gonna get one of the bear claw things. The pika, yeah, that thing. I like that thing. Thank you. I like that one. This is the daily breakfast menu from Triton's on The Wonder. My personal favorite is the southern hash without the chorizo and with my eggs poached. Also, I get a side of the pico de gallo from the power creep. They don't tell you you can do this, but you can totally do it. Robin loves the smoked salmon, cream cheese, onions, and capers, and always ask for some extra cream cheese. They only give you one little container of it, and it's never enough. Also, we both love the classic Mickey waffles here. This is one of my favorite parts of the breakfast here at Triton's is this melon plate with the papaya, mango, and cantaloupe. So good. Ignore the carnage. I got another one of these. <laughs> Forgot to get my hash. It happens. But now I have more. Boop. So we've had a super chill morning. Breakfast at Triton's was quite good. Um, and then we decided to go and head on over to go and take a look to see where one of our cast member friends was over at French Quarter, or if she was up at Cove. And we ran into another friend of ours. We ran into Alexis and Koda. It's Kona, like the coffee. And I will put them in, on their Instagram somewhere on the screen because you will have to see why. Hi. We're heading to Cove Cafe to go get some coffee. And we found friends. Hello. I found one duck and two duck hidden by the same people, so I'm gonna rehide them. These are ducks are from Chrissy and Sandy on The Wonder. I met them yesterday and they said they were gonna hide a duck for me. So now they have left me a duck, so now I have to rehide a duck. So I have ducks to hide. Gingerbread marshmallow? Yeah. I have rehidden a duck over here. Today's coffee features Monster Zinc for me and Mom Wanted Baymax. And pizza's being made fresh! Thank you! As someone who is a little dairy sensitive, uh, somebody asked me, uh, are there any dairy free ice cream options up at Ice Cream? So we are finding that out now. If you are looking for a dairy free option up here at Ice Cream, while none of the options in the machine are dairy free, they can get you one. So this is the raspberry sorbet, which I love a good raspberry sorbet. One of the really cool things that we did while we were over at Coke Cafe was we were sitting down at a table and my mom looked up and there were three younger people next to us and she immediately was like, they're part of the performance team. They're, in, they're part of entertainment. So she's like, are you part of the entertainment team? And they were kind of like, me. And me being me and not wanting to make things awkward. She's like, she's in the entertainment field. Like, I promise we're not just trying to be nosy. And so we were having a great conversation. They were talking theater and life and work, and it was really cool to get to talk to them. And so if this is you, Lucy, Taylor, or Christian, it was so great meeting you. It was really great to meet you all. Can't wait to see you all again. And thank you so much for having the time and taking the time to sit and talk to us and taking the time to talk to my mom because I know she really enjoyed that conversation. She had a lot of fun with it.
Sully Sips is open today. These are an extra fee. And this is also where they have the Sven and Olaf zipper. And yes, there is Dole Whip on the Disney cruise ships. So if you want a Dole Whip, come over here to Sully Sips. Thank you, say hello. So what do we have today? Hamburgers. Hamburgers and hot dogs and fish burgers and all sorts of stuff. These are all here at Pete's Boiler Bites. This is also where we get my favorite snack, which is french fries and some, uh, the garlic aioli. That's like, that's my favorite. So here is what the menu is for Pete's Boiler Bites. And over here, we have these shawarma options. So our shawarma here, chicken shawarma and lamb and beef shawarma. So this is Daisy's Delights. Daisy's Delights has some of the more healthy options. So we've got the house salad and the grilled chicken salad with some eggs. We have salad dressing options. Take any one of those and get it on your salads. Panini, sandwiches, roast beef, chicken, lettuce, all sorts of yummy stuff and some nifty little wraps. Take a look at these. Yes, I'm still having my ice cream from earlier. One other thing is they have a lot of good fresh fruit here. So if you are feeling seasick, come and get a green apple from Daisy's Delights. Green apples help with seasickness. It's a good alternative if you don't want to be dealing with any of that ginger thing if you're really, really seasick. They also have a ramen bar here. It's not every day. So if you talk to them, you ask them, they will have ramen. So we've got a variety of toppings, sour cream, cashews, lemon wedge, tomatoes, variety of options. Then over here, we will have cream of cauliflower, Brunswick soup, quinoa, chili chicken ramen bowl. There's the ramen I was mentioning, as well as some white rice. And again, we also have ice cream over here by Sully's Sips, where we have our soft serve ice creams including chocolate, vanilla, as well as banana today. Ooh, banana. So today we are at Triton's for lunch and this menu looks really good. I got two appetizers today because I wanted to try a couple things. So today I have the beef skewers, the satay skewers, which I love anything satay. It always makes me happy. I also have the ceviche. It's usually a raw fish that has been cooked in basically lime juice, and I'm excited to see what's in this one. It might be a little spicy, so none for mom. And mom got, for her appetizer, the some sort of fish. Lemon marinated cod. cod. Yes. Can you spin? And there's some sort of dangerous... Potentially dangerous. Trimble is usually a, red, a green sauce, so not red. So we're gonna maybe try it, but we'll see. <laughs> First taste test of the ceviche. I like ceviche in general. I'm just eating. That's fine. <laughs> I'm on ceviche. The thing that I like about ceviche is it's always fresh and tart, and if it didn't have jalapeno, you would love it. Because mm -hmm. it's basically just like lime and shrimp. Mm. And it's delicious, so the ceviche is good. It's nice, you don't need a ton of it, just a small portion, and this is perfect. Ooh, there's a sweet potato in the ceviche, and it's yummy. Oh, the sauce is good. Let's see if it has a little kick on the end. No, it's, it's nice, I like it. Ooh. And the fish is just nice and light. The quinoa is really good. Yep. Now for the skewers. Mm. Even without any of the sauces, the flavor on these is phenomenal. With the peanut sauce, because all good skewers have peanut sauce, and satay has peanut sauce. Yeah. Two for two. Lunch is really good today. This is a steak with the chimichurri sauce, which I'm very excited about because I like anything chimichurri. Hi, my name is Agus. I'm from Indonesia. He's been great for our lunch server. Sometimes you find your best servers 
during meals where you don't expect, you never know where you're going to find people. That's correct. So, mm-hmm. you meet so many servers here on The Wonder. Always, I always like to come to Triton's for breakfast and lunch because you get to meet more than just your serving team. Uh-huh. And we wouldn't have gotten to meet you if we hadn't come here today. All so, right. thank, thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you for having us. We're glad to have thank you. you. Thank, thank, you. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. This chimichurri reminds me a little bit of the salsa I get on tacos, which is... I mean, this one has uh, more chimichurri spices and not cilantro. Yeah. But when you get tacos in Southern California, it comes with onions and cilantro. And I love that. So this is great for me. I think this is delicious. The meat quality is pretty good. They cooked it just right for my taste. I'm pretty happy. Mine's a little rarer than I usually eat it, but it's not bad. It is right around 2.45. Now, I have martini tasting at 4 o'clock, so we got to have our drink (laughs) sooner before we don't, so we don't end up in martini tasting already sloshed. But if you watched the Merry Time series, you saw that I spent a fair amount of time talking to a cast member named Kareem, who was a bartender. He was down in French Quarter at that time. Now he is up at the Pinocchio's Pizzeria. There's, like, apparently a bar there, which I didn't know about. Um, So he's now there. And I told him, because I did not get one of his specialties when we were out in December, I told him I promised I would come back and get one this time. So we are off to go get a Kareem specialty. So we are going to go taste that. Again, Tasty's here with me. We're going to go check it out. I like what I will, I will experiment with what you make, but I don't like beer. <laughs> I have to look, look fancy, lady. It's gotta look fancy. If it doesn't look fancy, it doesn't look fancy. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. Okay, middle okay. middle one is for mom. Okay. This one is for you, not too sweet. Ooh. I was eyeing that one. I was like, I think I, I was like, like that's, that's a pretty nice. blue one. <laughs> yes. This one, this one is basically a caipirinha, uh, but I turn it over a little, a little prosecco to get a little sparkle. Okay. This one is a, a mandarin martini. Ooh. So it's really the and this one is a special one. This is a. Uh, a Aperol Margarita. An Aperol Margarita. Ooh. Kareem, thank you. Right. So this is the Kareem Caipirinha Especial. Oh, I'm so excited. Everything looks so good going into it. Ooh. Good. Okay, so it's definitely not sweet. It's very lime forward, but it's got like the fizziness and kind of almost that undertone from the Prosecco. Ooh. Like it, it gives it like an extra little depth to it because it has the wine base kind of thing. Nice. But oh. the whole time he was making it, I was like, all the things, all the things going in this look exactly like me. He totally yes. got it right. It's fantastic. Very refreshing. So yours is the Mandarin Martini. as good a taster as you are in the words, but I can definitely there's like a thickness to the top layer. Mm-hmm. It's not too sweet. And I told him you like sweet, so that means he got the balance right, because that is hard to do yeah, sometimes. Yeah, so it's not it turning into a Jolly Rancher or something. Yes. Like and it's really good. It's really okay. Good. As for me, I got a margarita, mandarin mar- mar- mango margarita. It's got Aperol in it, which I generally like. It's more of an, it's like an orange bitter liqueur, so. It's salt. Oh my gosh. I love a good margarita. And that is such a good, you get a little bit of the bitter in the finish, which I like. Ooh. Oh, I like yours too. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All of these are outstanding. Oh my gosh. Kareem knocked it out of the park as always. Oh my gosh. These are so fun and fruity and refreshing, and the pork is already passing out. So good. So, if you are here at the Disney Wonder, come and look for Kareem. He will be somewhere on the ship at a bar. And I'm working like mixologist here in Cadillac. Um, I'm from Serbia, 
and this is my 15th year on board. I will give you five different kind of cocktails. But the first one is going to be original martini. The last, like second, third, fourth, and fifth is going to be martini cocktail. I know maybe some of you will not like the first one because it's dry, but without it, it will be only cocktail seminar. So I have to give original kind of preparation, right? So, uh, how we call all other prepared in martini glass, martini cocktails. So, apple tini, espresso tini, chocolate tini, everything what is ending tini, 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 right? There is sugar or salt on the rim. Lime, fresh lime, right? Or any citrus. For example, when you put salt, it depends if you this use the second yet, right? Just stop. So, that's why if you don't say your preference, like if you want second salt or sugar. Red and green apple liqueur. Don't use red apple liqueur because red apple liqueur is sweet. Then if you put sweet apple liqueur and cranberry, that's it. Everything is sweet. Try this one. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, oh my god. Name. What yep. is important when you model fruits Ooh. to double strain? Yes. That is delicious. Why? Yes. Can we have a bucket of that? <laughs> I know. <laughs> I said to you that she will like that though. <laughs> I like sweet. Uh, but I <laughs> Look, I'm out of cherry. This is amazing. Oh my god. You built this? Holy primity. This. This is pirate night. Yeah. This is so cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Amazing. The mouth looks like it's articulated, am I correct? Yes, it is. Jerry and Christina make incredible costumes, and I think they've even won awards for the detail and intricacy of their work. It's amazing to see firsthand. Samosa. Yeah. All right, so I got the falafel, and it's on something. That is that is a negatory. Do not get the falafel. It's not. So usually falafel is like crispy fried. Yep. Um, this is... Smooshy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smooshy. Um, Don't get the falafel. <laughs> it has a different texture. It's like smoother than a normal falafel. Oh, okay. Um, it feels more like oh. it has like a lot of potato mixed in, not so much of the like chicky brown yeah. You can always go get pizza. Oh, there's room service. There's and room there is service. room service. So it was worth a try. This, this is chicken skewers? Chicken skewers that are not currently skewered. They have been de-skewered. And they're supposed to be grilled. No, that's not on that menu. Oh. On the kids' menu. Kids' menu. And it's supposed to come with a fruit salad, but we have french fries. Oh, I see a face. What's a face mean? Very whiny. Oh, I was going to say, are these potatoes? I have a parsnip. That's that guy on that side. They don't look crispy. Oh, that's already smooshy. That's already a smooshy onion ring. Our oh, strip, loin. Strip, loin. Strip, loin. strip loin with thyme roasted potatoes, buttered savory cabbage, Yorkshire pudding, and a rosemary wine sauce. It's great. And, oh, okay. Yay. We've got one win. It looks like a Yorkshire pudding. That does look like a Yorkshire, pudding. Yorkshire, Yorkshire that, pudding. It is pirate night here. And we just went and did pirate appetizers down with our main dining room staff. But now we have reserved Palo dinner because we want to try Palo dinner. And pirate night is a great night to do that. Hello there. Hello, So we're going to go do Palo dinner for dinner tonight because none of the main dining room mains look that interesting to us on pirate night. And none of the Palo appetizers look that interesting to us. So we're going to do a la carte dining up in Palo tonight, and then we're doing Palo brunch tomorrow. So there's gonna be a lot of food in the next 24 hours. So <laughs> let's hope that we can eat if, and not make ourselves sick. <laughs> and so much rich food, that's my concern. I'm a little concerned it's gonna be a little rich for me. Thank you so much. 
So the Balsamic Grande is one of our favorite cocktails here, and we love it. And you can come to the Palo Bar and just get it. You don't have to come and have a reservation. You can just come to the Palo Bar. From 6 to 9. From 6 to 9 p.m. and see Jermiel, and we'll make you a Balsamic Grande. So cheers. Salute. Rum. Oh, I've got it. Thank you for offering, though. I can't drink and walk if you take it. <laughs> oh, fabulous. Oh, wonderful. So good to have you back. It's it's nice to be here for dinner for the first time. So we are here at Palo Dinner, which is our first time Palo Dinner, and I believe we have Katya as our server. Now, Katya, we met, I believe, last... Uh, last December, as we were sitting at the bar, and she kept coming by, and we saw her. And so we're, I think we've managed to wrangle to be in her section tonight, and I think we're in her section tomorrow too. So I'm excited. So we are currently planning on getting the scallops, as well as the eight ounce sirloin, uh, prime sirloin steak versus the choice sirloin steak, and then for the sides, we're getting the fried Yukon potato. And the pan roasted wild mushrooms, which are both look amazing to me. These, I'm very excited for this dinner. It's so much here looks, the more I look at this menu, the more seems appealing, even though I will be the first person to say I'm not the world's biggest Italian food fan. And I was really thinking I might struggle here for dinner. With a, a soft potato gnocchi, grated served in a porcini mushroom sauce with some parmesan cheese on top. Please enjoy. It is a little bit salty, but it's good. So this is a garlic bread of some kind, and then there is a crackery thing behind it. And then there's some... And then some bread sticky things. The garlic smells just... Mm, one of my <laughs> favorite smells in the whole world. <laughs> so I also get to take a piece of the garlic bread. It smells very garlicky. Can confirm, very garlicky. Tastes like garlic bread. Not enough butter. Not a lot of butter on it. Just garlic and bread. Okay, next up. Crackery bit. It's a crunchy breadstick. The peppercorn sauce on the steak. And this one is the scallops. Oh, okay. Yes, I need to taste one, Mom. You can have half of my steak. Half of your steak? Okay, you can have a third of my steak for one of the scallops. That looks amazing. Oh my gosh, that looks divine. I nearly forgot we had sides coming. These are the fried Yukon potatoes and the wild mushrooms. Oh my gosh, these both look amazing. So delicious. Oh my god, this risotto. Oh my god. So good. I'm gonna try the steak. First thing. Perfectly medium rare. Absolutely perfect. Yes. <laughs> like we don't the peppercorn sauce is sweet with just a hint of the pepper in there. The steak is cooked phenomenally. Now that being said, I did take an edge piece for the first one, so it was definitely an edge piece, but I know that there are if the edge pieces taste like that, these center pieces are gonna be good. But it's just phenomenal. Tasting the risotto. Mm. Okay, time to say scallop. These scallops, if you like the scallops at the Grand California and Napa Rose, you will like these scallops because these scallops are, they are just as tender, just as buttery. It's like, they just fall apart, not in a bad way. Like you can chew with your tongue and it is so tender and delicious and well balanced and buttery and I'm glad we came here for dinner. You were worried. 
I was, I will be the first person to say, I was worried. I don't like Italian food. I am the first person to say, my Italian food and I do not jive. I don't like oregano. I don't like a lot of tomato. I don't like a lot of cheese. I was really worried. This dinner at Palo is incredible. And I may be a dinner at Palo person versus a brunch at Palo. Now, I know that's going to be controversial. I don't care. Dinner at Palo has blown me away. This is the Amaretto Sorbet. I thought I was recording, I was not. Oh well, sorry, you don't get to see them pouring the amazing Amaretto. And we have the chocolate sorbet with the chocolate and vanilla sauce. I'm sorry, you don't get to see any more. We now need to enjoy. The Amaretto Sorbet, or Amor Amaretto Sorbet. Amaretto Souffle. It's not super Amaretto-y. Um, but it's really a good balance. Everything is balanced. It's not too sweet. It's nice and eggy like a good uh, souffle is, but it's not overwhelmingly eggy. I've had souffles that are overwhelmingly eggy. This is not one of them. This is a cake. It, 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 yeah. It's fantastic. Finally, tasting the chocolate souffle. Mm. I like the amaretto better. And I like the chocolate better. Everyone wins. Oh, that's lovely. It's got a brand, I think an apple brandy and some prosecco and lemon sorbet. It's a fantastic digestive at the end of the meal. Oh, Just finished dinner at Palo and it was incredible. Um, I, I'm a mushroom person. I love the mushrooms. I also quite thoroughly enjoyed the steak that I got and the risotto and the scallops were phenomenal, but oh my gosh, they were so rich. It was very much one of those where I had a bite of my mom's and I could not have had much more than that because I would have been sick if I'd had more. I do not handle very rich food well and it was fantastic. <sighs> but with that, I don't think we're going to make it all the way to fireworks tonight. <laughs> we're a little tired. We, neither of us have been getting to bed early enough and we've been waking up early to see and do things. So I think we're going to go to bed early tonight and have a good evening and miss the, the fireworks. We'll survive. <laughs>